Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this lecture, I'll explain how to implement basic morphological operations in MATLAB. The agenda of this lecture includes implementation of erosion, dilation, and extraction of boundary of a simple binary image using simple morphological operations. Furthermore, hit and miss transform will also be implemented on a simple binary image. In MATLAB, image processing toolbox along with containing various image processing operations include multitude of morphological operations grouped under the section of image enhancement. All morphological operations utilize some form of erosion and dilation. Therefore, understanding these basic operations is of key importance. This snippet implements erosion on a built-in binary image circles.png. The first line loads the image. The second line defines a structuring element. The size and shape of the structuring element greatly influences the result of the morphological operation. In this case, the larger the size of the structuring element, more erosion will occur. You are advised to practice with various structuring elements to see their effect. The third line implement erosion on the loaded image using defined structuring element. If we display the results, we will get this thing. You can see how each circle has been eroded from every side. If you increase the size of the structuring element, the resulting circles will become smaller. This snippet implements dilation on a built-in binary image circles.png. Once again, the first line loads the image, while second line defines a structuring element. In this case, the larger the size of the structuring element, more dilation will occur. You are again advised to practice various structuring elements to see their effect. The third line implements dilation on the loaded image using the defined structuring element. If we display the results, we will get this thing. You can see how each circle has been dilated from every side and has merged with neighboring circles. This portion extracts boundary of the same circles.png image using simple morphological operations. After loading the image and defining the structuring element, this line erodes the object to get the eroded image. Boundary is then extracted by subtracting the eroded image from the original image. If we display the results, we will get this thing. The shown boundary is inner border of the objects present in the image. If instead of erosion we have dilated the image and then subtracted original image from the dilated image, we would have got outer border of the objects. Additionally, the size of the structuring element controls the thickness of the boundary. If we increase the size of the structuring element, the thickness of the boundary will also increase. For example, let me change the size of the structuring element from 3 to 7 and then see the results. As you can see, the thickness of the boundary has increased. In this case, the thickness of the boundary would be 3 pixels. Whereas in the previous case, when the size of the structuring element was 3, the thickness of the boundary was 1 pixel. In MATLAB, there are two ways to implement hit and miss transform. The first one requires the image and two structuring elements, one for detection of the object and the other for background check. The built-in function bwHitMiss implements automatically two stages of the hit and miss transform. You may implement the two stages like this if you wish. The second implementation combines the two structuring elements into one interval. Interval is a structuring element containing three different values. One corresponds to the element of the object, minus one corresponds to the element of the background, while zero corresponds to the don't care pixels. This interval may be used to extract all upper right corners present in the object. You can see here that these ones correspond to the inner corner while minus one correspond to the background pixels neighboring the corner. So if we implement hit and miss transform using this interval onto the shown image, we will get a hit at this location and at this location. There is no other location where this interval hits. Implementation of hit and miss transform is quite straightforward using image and the interval. 
This portion of the code defines a simple binary image and an interval to detect upper right corners. This line implements the transform and generates the output. The output of the hit and miss transform is this. The interval has hit the given image at these two locations only. There is no other location where the interval may hit the object. Therefore, you are going to get only two outputs. This short video lecture implemented erosion, dilation, boundary extraction and hit and miss transform on MATLAB using simple morphological operation. I hope you have understood that how to implement these simple operations on MATLAB and you can now try and play with different variations of these built-in functions and see for yourself that how you can implement these functions on simple binary images.